Here she is. Hello, beautiful. Hi. Hi. Uh, we can't yeah, just, there you are. We can hear you now. Hi. How are you? I'm great. I'm. My heart's pounding out of my chest. Yeah. That's where it should be. <laughs> so, Jessica, thank you so much for popping on today to talk about your experience. Can you just give us a little a little backstory about what was your life like before you joined the program and what has it provided for you so far? Sure. Um, so I just want to start by saying you pulled that card and it said, don't perform. That's my go-to when I get nervous. So I'm not going to perform. And uh, I'm going to take a second and get into my heart. That's where my magic's at. You taught me that. Um, yeah. So before I did this program, I'd done like five years of um, self-help work. And I knew, I knew everything. Um, I was living a good life. I have a great home. I have a great husband. I have had a good job, had all this stuff, but I couldn't, I didn't know, but what was happening is I couldn't get into my heart. I was stuck in my head. And so mm. nothing was quite working. It was working, but it wasn't quite working. Right. Um, and so I did the get your shit together challenge and I thought it went until Thursday. And at the end of Wednesday, I was like, I'm going to die. I can't, I can't live without this. Like I cannot do this. And then um, you guys put the thing up about BizCraft and I was like, Oh shit, I don't have the money, but I've got to figure this out. Mm -hmm. And, um, whew. and so Kit, you said this is a mystery school. So I feel like right now I'm supposed to explain like the mysteries that have happened. I can't, I don't even know how to tell you guys the <laughs> mysteries that have happened in this mystery school. I went back to January 11th, uh, January 11th, 2019, and this is what I posted in the group. Mm. Um, I'm acknowledging my, I want to acknowledge my feelings and become a real human. I want to be that rather than pretending to be emotionless. Mm. So I had all of this stuff stuck in my head and I couldn't get here. And what BizCraft has done for me, oh my God, like I wish that I could like show you a picture of before and after and you could just see the stuff and that would answer those questions. But I basically had realized through coaching that I had shut myself off as a small child. I lived really free before kindergarten, like literally in the backyard with chickens and corn and um, just lived super free. And I thought that life was really great. And then they put me in kindergarten and it was like, are you guys still there? Yeah. yeah. Oh, like it clicked away. Anyways, they put me in kindergarten and it was, I didn't know what was going on and everything I was doing was wrong. And stop talking, you're getting sit in the corner. Um, you don't know how to do the schoolwork. And it was like, all of a sudden, I realized like the joke was on me. Life wasn't fucking cool. Like I thought it was like, I wasn't as fun and free. I didn't know any of that until I started BizCraft. And that's the shit that came up in coaching, like literally went back to me at five years old. So basically like all that stuff I had stuck in my freaking head came down to my heart through coaching and through support. And I recognized like I basically had like believed the story. And now I know that story is bullshit. I was actually right. Life was fucking cool and I was good enough. And this basically the support of this community and the coaching um, has every time that I start to feel that same feeling, right? Those feelings never go away. Your coach and your supporter are like, nope, remember the truth. Remember the life. Boom, boom, boom. And you just get through to the next yes, to the next yes, to the next yes. So I don't even know how to wrap it all up. I had all the tool. No, I didn't. I knew what I wanted to do. I knew I wanted to help people. Um, and you guys have given me the tools to do that. And then you've given me the support to get past the fear. The fear would always get there. So I have so many fucking tools. One of my coaches just said, my coach is so skilled. What? Holy shit. Ah! you guys have done that for me I have such a community here that was one of the things that I wanted was um, a community I'd learned all this stuff through Abraham Hicks and all of this but I was like just had nobody that was on the same level as me uh, not on the same level just living the same type of life yeah. and now I've gotten this community but here's the here's the thing what I realized is because I wasn't going into my heart I was unwilling to have intimate relationships. So what I was, what I've learned is it's here in this group, but I was the one stopping it in my real life. So now that I'm in my heart, I can have those relationships with everybody in my life. You guys have done everything for me. This program has been everything for me. I could do, you <laughs> fucking explode. Ah! So, yeah. I love you. <laughs> Thank you so much.
that you're so sweet. Jessica, you just took me back to my Red Bluff days when you said kindergarten. Aww. I was like, oh my God, that's the only place where they say kindergarten. <laughs> that's so cute. I love it. Here's the crazy thing. Jessica is, and I didn't know this until you signed up for the challenge, you are family to me. Yes. You, She's your cousin's wife's sister-in-law. Yes. <laughs> and it's like... Like my biggest gift from you is being able to start like living this way with my family, mm-hmm. forming my family's life. Yes. And you're, you're like a distant, distant, like kind of cousin thing. Hey like, Juliet. That's kid's cousin. Oh yeah. And then Hi. you bring Juliet in yeah. and now like, like we're changing the world. Like, and it's coming closer and closer and closer. It's yeah. freaking amazing. Not to mention that Juliet's a great example to explain that I was a total fucking <sighs> ding dong. Yeah. But I wanted that's a great point. What I wanted to say is like Bizcraft has not stopped at me. My whole family is everybody in my community is like, what are you doing? What are you doing? I want what you have. I'm like, (laughs) yeah. Um, But the biggest point that I want to make is my husband is a federal police officer and the tools that I've learned in this program, he has applied to his life and he is like brought it to the government and he's started an NBC program with police officers and teaching them to learn about feeling fear and how they interact with people and how to like get in their own feelings and bring that it like (laughs) it's like this much like I paid like six thousand dollars and it's like literally changing the government right now and police officers and how they interact with other people it's this is crazy because I don't I don't I haven't told you this and I didn't know where it was coming from but I've recently been getting this this word that keeps coming into my head that's it's a peace officer peace officer peace officer and I've been mm. getting these little visions of like like creating a peace task force and I'm like I'm wondering okay. if this is part of it wow yeah I haven't shared this with you guys and it is no. really 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 big and so that's insane this that's is why huge. we call it a fucking mystery school guys you you're like <laughs> watching it in action yeah so and guys i I have to just say that example she just gave is that you might be asking yourself like how is investing six thousand dollars in myself going to change the world you don't have to know the answer because the answer will come to you as you're doing the work just like that like how could we have ever expected that our little uh like harry potter coaching program would start to create (laughs) an like an nbc training program for police officers which is like something that is a huge huge issue going on in the world right now how police interact with other humans and and this is having a ripple effect on that right now how could we have ever predicted that you just have to trust you just have to know that that nudge in your spirit right now that's calling you to invest in yourself is going to have a ripple effect in the rest of the world you don't know how it's going to happen it's going to happen and you don't like if you have all this doubt don't worry my husband was like who are these weirdos and what are they doing like god every day like weird and now he's like, hey, can I see that one thing? And what are they talking about? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, we love him so much. What's his name? Josh. Love you, Josh. Yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. Thank you, Jessica. That was awesome. Thank you.